Welcome to another great video by Exam Sam Study Aids in Media. In this video, we're going to look at Accuplacer scores and the meaning of the ISR, or Individual Score Report. For more great free Accuplacer practice tests, please visit us at practiceaccuplacertest.com. So, first of all, let's look at what the Next Generation Tests include. On the Next Generation Test, you'll have a reading part, you'll have writing, arithmetic, quantitative reasoning, algebra, and statistics, and advanced algebra and functions. Each one of these will usually have 20 questions in total. However, the writing test will have 25 questions. So what are the scores for the next generation test? Well, scores for this test range from 200 to 300 for each one of the five parts. So in other words, you'll get 2 to 300 on reading, 2 to 300 on writing, and so on. What then would count as a low score on the next generation tests? Scores from 200 to 220 are usually considered to be low scores. This would range from having answered roughly 67 to 74 percent of your questions correctly. What then would count as a high score? A score of 270 or better is considered a high score. This amounts to having answered 90 percent or more of the questions correctly. However, acceptable scores may vary for each part of the test, depending on which college you're going to attend. The reading test, for example, a good score on that is generally considered to be 260 to 280. For the writing test, you probably want to aim also for 260 to 280. And for each of the math parts, you want to aim for getting 230 at least on each one of those. The most important tip we can give you here is to take your time. The test is untimed, so go at your own pace and try to answer each question correctly. Now you need to know that the Accuplacer is a computer adaptive test. That means the computer will automatically adjust the questions to your skill level. So if you answer questions incorrectly at the start of your test, the computer is going to start giving you easier questions because it will think that your skill level is lower. Of course, these easier questions are worth fewer points, so you need to be really careful answering the questions, especially at the start of the test. Obviously, if you're answering questions that are worth fewer points, you're going to get a lower score. How then to find out which score you need in order to start college right away? Well, you would need to inquire at the testing and placement office of the college that you're going to attend. You really, really need to do this before the day of your test. Knowing what's expected of you, knowing what score you need to achieve, will help you to prepare. In the event that your college doesn't have a testing and placement office, well, it might go by the name Academic Support Center, and sometimes it's also called the Student Support Center. So please be sure to inquire about scores before the day of your test. Okay, we mentioned ISR at the start. What is an ISR? ISR means Individual Score Report. So you're going to take your Accuplacer on the computer, and then you'll get your score right away when you finish the test. Here's an example of what your individual score report might look like. Okay, so it'll have your name there. It'll talk about the, the date you took the test and give your scores below. You'll get this score report from your college. And as we mentioned, it will show your score for each part of the test. So the reading score will be there, the writing, the arithmetic, and so on. It may also show you which classes you're going to be able to take. However, for some colleges, you'll need to see a guidance counselor when you get your scores. He or she will advise you on what classes you'll be able to take or whether you need to go into 
what's called a developmental class. Now, most colleges tell you that you can't pass or fail the test. Really, though, this is somewhat misleading. You may be asked to retake the test if your score is really low. You may also have to take non-credit developmental classes if your score isn't good enough to get into normal college classes. These developmental classes are classes that you take before you start your degree program, and they're actually going to cost you a lot of money and a lot of time. Some students have had to take these developmental classes for a whole year before they've been able to start college. These classes are called developmental because they're trying to develop your skills or get them up to the level that the college thinks you need in order to begin classes on your degree program. And these developmental classes don't count towards your degree. So it pays to be prepared for the test. As we mentioned before, know what score you need and get ready. To get your best score, please visit us at practiceaccuplacertest.com. We have lots of great free practice test materials there. We also have videos on our YouTube channel to help you prepare for the Accuplacer, so please subscribe to our channel at ExamSAM. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.